In this video, we'll see how we can recode a scale variable into an ordinal variable with groups. So I'm going to use the variable age. I have the participants' actual ages, so there's no groupings here. And what I want to do is create age groups. So I'm going to go to the transform menu. We're going to choose this option here, recode into different variables. The recode into same variables will overwrite your existing data. We do not want to do that. We just want to create a new variable with groups. Okay, I want to take the variable I want to recode, which is age, and move it to my variables box, and then go ahead and give it a new name. I'm going to call it age groups, and remember you can't have any spaces or special characters. We can also add, an, add a label. I'm going to call it age group, and we can have spaces with a label. Go ahead and click change and then old and new values. And the old value box here is where we tell SPSS what the current coding is. And in the new value box, it's what we tell SPSS what we want the coding to be. So we have an option here to start with range lowest through value. Now I can use this because I don't have any missing codes that are less or less than my lowest age. So I want my first age group to be 25 and under. I have no missing value codes less than 25, so I can go ahead and use this range. If I did, I would have to use this range option where I specify, say, ages 1 through 25. Okay, um, I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So I'm going to type in 25, so that means 25 and under, and that's my first age group click add. Now my second group is a range here so I need to choose this option and it's going to be ages 26 to 35. This is group 2. I'm going to continue this on for the rest of my age group so I have ages 36 through 35. That's group 3. Sorry, 45. Click on add and then I've got 46 through 55. That's group four. And now I want to have a group that's 56 and over, really, or over 55. Um, again, because I don't have any missing values greater than 55, I can go ahead and use this range through highest option. If you do, like if you download data from a, a web source, such as the Office of National Statistics, um, you want to be very careful because often the missing value codes are higher, um, such as 99, 999, things like that. So be very careful. I'm going to go ahead and say value through highest, so 56 and over. And that's going to be my last age group, group 5. Now if I had um, missing values, so user missing, which I had coded, or if I had system missing, that means empty cells that I want to code, I could also do this now. So if I had any empty um, data, I could tell SPSS what I want the missing value code to be. I don't have any missing data, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and then OK. Now here's my original variable, which we still have, and if we scroll all the way to the right, we can see we have a new variable called age groups. We're going to go ahead and define this in the variable view. So I want to change the decimal places to zero, and I want to give some value labels. This is where I put in the, the groups that I just created. So 25 and under was my first group. 26 to 35 was my second one. 36 to 45. And my last group, which is 56 and over. Remember to hit add after each time. Go ahead and click OK. And I don't have any missing values, um, but I do need to define the level of measurement. So this variable, because it was scale, so there is an order to it, it's now ordinal because it's been grouped. If we go back and have a look at our data view, click on this icon up here if it's not clicked already so we can see our value labels. We can see our new age group categories and if I drag it over here next to age so that I can get a better view I can compare to make sure my data has been defined correctly.